Right, so I've got some black and I've got some burnt umber, which is a darker brown. I need to mix this together and make it really watery. Add a, quite a bit of water because I want it to the, this paint to seep into all the cracks. Yeah, it has to be quite watery actually. And the black's sort of taking over because I think I'll put a bit more in, but doesn't really matter. Just to try and get some more water in. Splash it in. Could do with my little pipettes, but can't find them. do with pouring some in because I need it to be really watery because this will be the shadows I'm going to test some of this now Needs to be more watery. Let's try and wipe the excess off the top. It's sinking into some of the shadows slightly. Let's go for the eye bits there. And these bits. The obvious dark areas. I still think it needs to be way more watery. So I need a lot of that uh, red to still show. So what I'm going to have to do is get the old tissue on it each time and wipe them. Wipe a bit off. Wipe the excess. And just keep doing that as I'm going along. see closer but it's creating a nice effect I'll zoom in so I'm zoomed in slightly um, I may have to get the in fact I'll just switch the light on there we go you can see it a little bit better there I've watered the paint down a lot in fact I just want this to be a wash you know, not too much black. So all this will just seep into, you know, the recesses of this. Just take the hair off a brush there. Ah, yeah, got the nice consistency now. This will be great to do loads of red 
flesh effect highlights and stuff over the top once I've um, done like most of this wash I don't want to go over the teeth don't mind if some splashes happen on the teeth because I'll correct them later but we want a lot of these dark recesses to just get all filled in look pretty cool I think I think really at this point my inexperience in this uh, sort of shows through but it's always best to just push through little challenges and just try and do your best and just experiment really if it doesn't work out you know you can always paint back over it or something <laughs> you know even though it takes more time But I do like the uh, darker colour as well. It's adding something to it. More black. Move this camera up a bit more. This is the sort of second stage of painting really. Getting all the darkness, the recesses of the, all the flesh texture and things. Put more water there. Spread it all out. If you put too much on, try and spread it around. That's what I do. This has to be more of a colour wash. probably have to go in and with a smaller brush right near the teeth so I just don't go over the teeth really I think in there should be all black. I don't know if I'm going to reach it all, but um, I'll try. Right. You can see it's darkening the whole thing, and that's what you want. Already, I can tell that some of the acrylic sealant hasn't properly uh, gone off yet you know dried but I'm not too not too fussed let me put some darker stuff near the eyes there's some like heavy recessed areas that need to be filled in with a lot of colour just holding this you know tripod slightly just to well I say stabilize it but it's making it wobble now no man Just 
So yeah, I think I'll switch to a smaller brush. So now most of that is slightly dry. Um, I want to try and get some of these raised areas. Uh, I've got some vermilion, which is like a reddy orange. Um, I want to dry brush it, so I want to take as much as I can off there and then just start to drag it over the top and it'll hit all them raised areas if you can see the orange um, hitting them raised areas and it's it's looking quite quite funky actually probably be able to see better in there uh, proper daylight but it's a bit dull outside so so really that um, texture um, with the acrylic sealant has really worked quite well so just aiming just to get all the raised areas like I said I think I've repeated that quite a few times all the raised areas yes we need to do the raised areas <laughs> um, and also the sort of orangey colour it, it makes it I don't know it gives it some sort of a glaze and changes the colour and that's what I quite like about it I have to do some more shadows maybe around the teeth and things like that but that'll just come with a bit of time and patience I think so you can see a few of the raised areas there it looks brighter than it actually is I don't know if I turn the light off you can't properly see anything so Pull that back on. <laughs> Just want to dry brush other areas. Maybe some of these areas. And then what I'll do is I'll probably add some white to this vermilion and it'll add another layer of um, highlight. So, you know, I could do that to show a minute. quite a, a thick amount here of the highlight I'm trying to remember not to get them teeth covered too much I think once I've added a lot of this orange over the top I think I can add a bit more shadow try and get the shadows in there because you can repeat each step as well you know there always is that wipe some of the excess off Transfer a lot. So you can't really see um, too much in this light. Um, I'm trying to hold this uh, light in one hand while I'm just painting these mid tones with this vermilion 
red orange. You can see the orange parts anywhere there. I'm trying to highlight the areas. Um, so I don't know where to continue at the moment with this because the lighting isn't too great. In a second, I can't pull that anyway. If I pull that over there, it's going to be too dark. If I put it there, it's going to be too. Hmm. Fit on there. <laughs> Tricky. I'll put it too near the camera, otherwise, it's going to be. It works better there, but I've got nowhere to hang it. Guess I should have thought of that beforehand, but never mind. So this dry brushing technique takes a, a good few layers anyway, so yeah, I think I'll carry this on tomorrow. And try and show you the results in the in the daylight where you can see a lot of clear bits and pieces. So yeah, I'll just put that back for now. Yeah, it's gonna to be too dark, but the progress is uh, quite good. I'm quite happy with the the way it's going. Um so yeah, what I'll do is just normal vloggy style I'll show. Um, the sort of results um, in the morning not as good as I expected um, to be on the night um, yeah one of them things but yeah I think it's best if I just stick to drawing a bit and do these off and on <laughs> And just uh, experiment and things like that, but I'm, I'm happy with the way it's gone. The teeth quite solid, dry quite solid with that acrylic sealant. Jolly good, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to carry on with this during the you know time I've got in the night, and I'll show you the results in the morning. And yeah, tomorrow. But I'll do like some kind of drawing as well, mixed in with a vlog tomorrow and you know, just see how it goes. Still got bits to do. More extra highlights and things. And finish off some more shadows around the teeth. And maybe some pinky colours I think I need to throw in there as well. And just see how the all you know, sculpture thing goes. But I quite like it, I quite like the, the way it's evolved into something else. And when I originally started, particularly the first sketch in the first part that I showed you. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now. <laughs>